Hi, this is Krista Engström from Fandev. We have a new version of QTCP available and it's version 1.5. Uh, I will give you an overview of what's new and at the same time an introduction to the QTCP plugin for After Effects. Okay, let's start. Uh, I've imported a TIFF sequence here. It is a, a 24 frames per second TIFF sequence, 16 bit, trillions of colors. I start by dragging the TIFF sequence on my create composition icon. I can see that my project is 8-bit. Uh, I want to change it to 16-bit. So I'll go to File, Project Settings and Depth and 16-bit per channel. OK. I will also take a look at my composition settings. It's 2048 by 858, 2K scope, uh, and the frame rate is 24 frames per second. So that's fine. I will drag down one of the audio files. We are not going to add the audio on, on the timeline because uh, After Effects do not support 5.1 surround mixes on timeline. It only supports stereo on, on timeline. So we have we are going to add the 5.1 mix from the uh, from the render queue from the format options dialog. And as you can see, the I have a sync mark here. The three is a sync mark. And if I open my audio, I'll just zoom in a bit so you can view it a bit better. And I have a sync mark on the audio. We need to trim the endpoint of the audio track and the video track. Uh, the audio needs to be uh, trimmed in the format options dialog and the video on the timeline. So I don't need the audio right now. I don't need it on the timeline at all. Uh, and I zoom out. Uh, my endpoint Okay, let's zoom out. I trim my video on the timeline. I know it's 48 frames before the program starts, so I type in my endpoint minus 48. And I need to adjust my uh, work area as well. So I press O for my out point and N to adjust my work area end. I delete the audio file here, it was just to show you. Let's add the timeline to the render queue. And I will select the output module QTCP. And I will also change my color depth to trillions of colors. Just enable my audio output. You don't have to enable it, it will automatically be enabled when you press render, but I will do it anyway. Format options. Use comp name as content title. If this one is checked, it will just pick the, the composition name as a content title of the DCP. I will create my own content title. In the new version of QTCP 1.5, this is one of the new features. Title Helper. The Title Helper is a tool for creation of content titles. I, it will help you to follow the digital cinema naming convention. And if you're not familiar with the naming convention, it has two primary objectives. To make as much information visible as possible and to display the information in a specific order in assigned fields. And most of this information is uh, abbreviated including movie title if necessary and most of the abbreviation are standardized so I will start to type my film title which is farewell and the content type is a short 
and the project to aspect ratio is a scope 248 by 858 uh, the language audio is Swedish and language subtitles we don't have any subtitles on this one I skip territory code and rating code audio type is a 5.1 mix resolution is 2k and not the facility the 3D no package type is original version okay annotation text farewell test 1 this is an optional field you can type whatever you want to annotate your DCP uh, the category is a short and I will stick to the intro packaging format next is the video tab this is also a new feature in uh, QTCP it is built in to QTCP enable XYZ is enabled or footage is not converted to XYZ color space so I need to do that uh, when we are rendering if you want to adjust your uh, compression ratio you can do it here I stick to the full bitrate and audio for the DCP I will not take the audio from the timeline it only supports stereo I will go for the external files and the 5.1 surround mix okay this is a place to load your 5.1 surround mix and I have selected multi-select audio files which means you only need to select one of your audio files if they are uh, namely in the following way so I've what you can see right here I have a stereo mix and a 5.1 surround mix so I just pick one of the, my surround mix files and press open and the rest of the files is filled out because this check was, was on multi-select audio files and here I need to trim my endpoint 48 frames as well as we did with the timeline subtitle we don't have any subtitles for this DCP but uh, QTCP supports SMPTE subtitles in uh, version 1.5 and in the about tab you can just authorize your the QTCP plugin before we click OK you can take a look of all your settings you've done in this option dialog everything seems OK I press OK and then we'll need to find a place to to render it OK I will need to change my name I forgot something I will go into my format options again and make a copy of my content title name I will use it as my my file output and this is it everything is set up so you can just press render and be happy okay this is it bye bye